we're going to be talking about a, a case study, challenges and the impact. Uh, this is a, a case study where Tavant was involved in the solution. And um, we, though it would be nice to name the companies the way Eric did in the beginning, I think uh, this company would like to remain anonymous. But what I'll do is I'll uh, ask Roshan here to just give you kind of a profile of who they are, what kind of company, product, size, and so on. You want to do that real quick, Roshan, before I jump in? Sure. So this is a, a company that has close to a, a billion dollar in sales. Uh, they're primarily involved, uh, you know, in the uh, heavy equipment industry. And uh, they, before, you know, uh, getting involved with deploying the system, as a case study will mention, uh, they had the AS400 green screen system with a lot of manual process that went into, you know, going through the entire warranty uh, claim cycle. Why don't we go ahead, Manish? Okay, sure. So in terms of challenges, uh, as Roshan just said, they were using a, an AS400 based solution and JD Edwards, they just did not have a way of managing warranty policies. So it, it was fairly manual in terms of decision making. Claim processors had to handle enforcement of terms. Uh, they had to manu manually manage service campaigns and product recalls. Um, submission, the, the actual uh, screens were not very intuitive. There was not very much error checking happening at the point of, of uh, data entry. Um, there wasn't much online help uh, or a way to attach supporting documents. Sometimes you want a photograph or you want some other <clears throat> form that the system of the model just to be attached. <clears throat> they had to send those in manually via email or fax, and it was hard to associate them with a claim. Um, they also had a difficulty with keeping track of the current owner of a piece of equipment in the sense that uh, the, the prior solution would only keep track of the original sale, but you know, durable equipment is often resold. And when it comes to service campaigns and recalls, you want to be able to go find the current owner quickly. And they just didn't have a way of recording that even if they knew it. Um, parts returns, again, you, you get the theme here, a lot of manual processing and tracking. Um, very slow and error prone. Um, even some, you know, quote simple things like uh, paying dealers for the freight charges to return parts to the manufacturer. Uh, that required, again, out of band communications. Dealers would fax those invoices separately. The warranty processor would go have to, would go in and have to modify the claim manually, increasing the amount by the amount of the freight that they wanted to credit. So. Uh, kind of a complicated uh, scenario with too much manual judgment. Let's go on to the next slide. I'll just wait here again for the slides to update for everybody. Um, with regard to claim processing, obviously longer payment cycles from the manual process. Uh, not enough information available to the processors to make their judgments like detailed claim and history or equipment ownership history. Um, and whenever the workflow would have to go back to another party, there wasn't a way to uh, do communication or notification. So you know, if you needed more from a dealer, well, you'd have to call them up. And until you got around to calling them up, the claim would just sit in that state. Um, manual checking for duplication fraud, uh, no way to handle pre-authorization for special claims like you know, we're, you know, in terms of offering goodwill, you want to honor something out of warranty. There wasn't a way to capture that kind of detail in the system. Um, and with, with regard to the recovery, uh, it was a very Excel, you know, Microsoft Excel-based process. Um, there were often disputes with suppliers because of insufficient data or just not enough visibility on the status of a case. And in fact, uh, they were using a third-party administrator uh, to handle all of this recovery workflow, and that increased the cycle time further to the point where you know, they would end up sometimes actually um, paying a claim to a dealer before getting any confirmation that the supplier would pay for the failed part. And they would sometimes get stuck, you know, having shelled out the money and you know, realizing that the supplier had a whole different view of the case. And you know, again, with these basic things not in place, you can also imagine that the analysis and predictive side of things was uh, a fairly weak situation. So they didn't have enough data captured, so they couldn't do enough analysis. 
and um, whatever reporting they could do, they generally had to work with their IT team. They, there wasn't a lot of ability to do ad hoc uh, querying. So let's go on to the next slide. So what, you know, we work with them on a solution here, and we can tell you the impact it had in this particular case. And um, again, I think it's it's fairly representative. You know, these these situations aren't that uncommon. Uh, by enforcing the policies, describing them in the system, there was uh, it gave the system the ability to enforce the terms, um, and also by being able to track the current ownership of equipment and uh, track the status and progress of a service campaign or a recall, that actually reduced their costs by 40% in those cases. You know, they used to mail manuals to dealers. Um, there was a lot of manual follow-up, so they had significant cost savings on those campaigns. Um, claim submission, uh, the guided, you know, this is a, a solution with a web-based front end and a uh, what's called a web tool UI in which the fields are dynamically validated as you type. Even serial numbers, you'll have drop downs that show you the valid serial numbers available to that dealer or, uh, you know, failed part codes or all those things are dynamically uh, prompted to you or validated if you enter them. And that led to pretty much eliminating all of the data entry errors um, and uh, also the frustration that goes with that of submitting a claim and only, you know, having it rejected quickly later on. The online help as well, you know, reduced training costs because uh, you could have field level help and um, other general information available without having to uh, rely as much on the, the tech support. And with re regard to the returns process, uh, it all became integrated. So the system would track the, the, the alert the users uh, the, uh, at the point of entry when a part would need to be returned. In fact, I think they had something like uh, 600 different parts were flagged in this case, whether they were required by suppliers for recovery or they were required by the internal quality group of the manufacturer. Um, and again, the, it, it would prompt the users when they entered a claim and indicate when those parts are required. And then it could also ensure that that workflow of parts returns was integrated into the claims process. So claims would not move forward until the, the parts were available. The, um, the cycle time here, if I'm not uh, mistaken, Roshan, I think it reduced from something like over two weeks to about five to seven days in cases where uh, parts were required by implementing these efficiencies. That is correct, Manish. So we've actually seen a significant drop in the overall uh, cycle time Part returns is one part of it. Uh, the the other part of it is also the amount of you know auto processing uh, that has been enabled uh, through through the system, which also helps significantly reduce the overall cycle time for a claim. Right, and, and just to give you a little bit more information on you know the level of detail you can model in a solution. You know you might have uh, when you're talking about you know what has failed. You you can go from engine to alternator to coil you know, whatever the level of granularity there is in terms of your business requirements uh, to check for duplicate uh, or erroneous claims, you could, you know, you could write a rule and this is, you know, the type that we've implemented here. Um, if there is a, a claim with the same failure filed on the same machine in the last 30 days, then make sure the dealer has to send the claim for service manager review before going on. So there's a, a fair bit of control and configurability that enables this type of checking, automation, and efficiency, as well as you know, fine-grained data capture for later analysis. Uh, 